Hey, Tyler here. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out tarveracademy.com. Yo, yo, is a toy that people play with. Okay, today we're gonna learn how to find the area of a trapezoid, or as I like to call it, a trapezoid. Actually, I don't call it that because it sounds stupid. Okay, so let's find the area of a trapezoid. Now, first thing that you know to find the area of a trapezoid is the formula for finding the area of a trapezoid. So it is base one plus base two times height divided by two, okay? That is the area of a trap. Working in traps. That's some people say when they work out, whatever. Okay, so we got that. Two bases are the two parallel lines. Because as you know, in a trapezoid, can you see this? Can you see this? In a trapezoid, you have to have at least two parallel lines. The other two don't matter, but you have to have two lines that are parallel. Okay? They don't have to be the top and the bottom, they can be the sides, it doesn't matter. As long as two are parallel. Does that make sense? Okay, cool. As long as you get that. Trapezoid has a set of parallel lines, two lines that are parallel, however you want to say it. Something's parallel. And the other ones, they just connect. Okay? Quadrilateral. What up? Okay. So, you might also see this formula as one half times parentheses, base one plus base two, close, height. You might see it as that as well. It doesn't matter. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Chill. Okay? So, let's find the area of this mug. Okay? Let's get a problem. Let's get an example problem. Let's get an example problem for the people in the house. Okay, let's say we've got a pretty little trapezoid that looks like this. It's going to be a right angle. Let's make that 3, 2, let's make it 3 feet. I'm putting feet on there because it gives you a measurement thing. And this will be our V2. Okay. All right, now, in this problem right here, they've given us one of our bases, our height, and they've given this. Now, we don't have enough information, but this is one of those tricky ones. It's one where they give you the area. They're saying the area is 8 feet squared, okay? Now, essentially, if you have your height and your two bases, all you do is you plug it in and you solve the problem, okay? Now, I'm giving you one that's a little more tricky, so hopefully it'll help you a little more, okay? Now, we know the area is 8 feet. We know one of the bases, which apparently has been our base 1. We know our height is 2 because it goes from one base and hits the other one at a right angle. That's important, just like parallelograms and tri uh, triangles. Okay? Now, my saying that I always say is, plug in what you know to find what you don't know. Okay? Here's our formula. A equals B1 plus B2 times the height, all divided by 2. Now we know 2, it's a number. We got it, okay? Duh. Alright? Area, we also know that. 8 is our area. We know the 2. Do we know our B1? Well, yes we do. It's 3. Plus, do we know our B2? No, we don't. So I'm just going to put B. that cool with y'all? Looks like a 6, it's not, it's a B. And then we also know our height, which is 2. I'll make my 2's different. Because that's how I do business. Alright? Now, all you do is you get everything away from that B. Okay? It's just like doing just a multi-step equation where you're trying to solve for X. You try to get rid of everything and get it to the other side of the equal sign. They're abandoning ship. This kid has malaria. Get out of there. But we've got to go in an orderly fashion. What's the first thing we get rid of? It's whatever's furthest away from that letter. The two on the bottom floor. Okay? You think, it's closer than that three or that. It's on the bottom floor. You have to go up an elevator to get up there. It's way further away. So let's get rid of it. How do you get rid of a divide by 2? You multiply by 2. 8 times 2 is 16. And now we've got 16 equals 3 plus B times 2. Notice the next thing you get rid of. 3 is hanging out in the parentheses with it. Okay? So let's get rid of that 2. How do you get rid of a times 2? Divide by 2. I think I heard you in the back. Jeffrey in the back. So we divide both sides by 2. 16 divided by 2 is back to 8. I'm putting arrows from which way I'm going. Sorry. Just running out of room. You don't want to. Alright. 8 equals, and then 2 divided by 2, that get rid of it. That get rid of it. That's English. That's why we got rid of it. Equals 3 plus B. Only thing left to get rid of is that 3. How do you get rid of a positive 3? Alicia, I heard you. Subtract 3. 5 
equals B. And that should be your answer. Now, you can always check this. Let's take our original equation, which was right here, plug in 5. What's 3 plus 5? 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 divided by 2 is 8. Does 8 equal 8? Why, yes, it does. Okay? And you just learned how to find the area of a trapezoid. Oh, use that information for good, not evil. Okay? Make sure you want to check out my regular website, tylertarver.com. If you want to check out my math website with all this stuff in order, organized, and all that jazz, go to tarveracademy.com. You are more than welcome to throw us some money, whatever. Our dry race boards aren't great. Want to buy us better ones? Cool, whatever. Save money on tutors? Whatever. Oh, okay, we also have an iPhone, iPad app. Just search Tarver Academy. It'll pop up. Uh, unless somebody's making some fake ones. I'm just kidding. If you want to, don't do that, please. Okay, um, so I guess that's it. Subscribe to my YouTube. That'd be great. And then grab subscribe to my other YouTube. A lot of things to do. If you have other questions on here and I didn't answer them, be feel, feel free to tweet me, at Tyler Tarver, T-A-R-V-E-R, V as in vampire. Um, and then uh, I'll try to help you. Just take a picture and send it to me. Unless it's crazy or I'm busy. Bye! Hey, thanks for showing up. Give me a subscribe and check out TarverAcademy.com. Pizza?